News Defense. Korean Aerospace Industries has confirmed that they received a request for information, RFI, from the Philippines on the KF-21 Boramay fighter, in which Kai will be responding soon. For those who do not know, an RFI is an official enquiry from the sender on a specific product, which may include questions on the aircraft specs and capability that are not published on publicly available materials, development queries, pricing, delivery capability, etc. Queries may also include those not directly related to the aircraft itself i.e. including Soyeth Korean government commitments, financing or even counter-trade options. This news may delay the MRF acquisition further unless if the PAF sees the KF-21 as a potential future twin-engine fighter. They issued an RFI on the KF-21 and we are preparing for it now, the official said. The Manila Multi-Purpose Fighter MRF, competition has been going on for several years with two competing aircraft the Lockheed Martin F-16 and the Saab Gripen. The Philippines is already an important market for Kai, operating 12 F-A-50s and looking to acquire 12 more. The official added that Kai has had very in-depth discussions on the KF-21 with one country in the Middle East. While he did not name the country, Kai has enjoyed success in the region, with the Iraqi Air Force operating 24 T-50 IQ advanced trainers. He also mentioned another potential customer, Indonesia. Jakarta is a junior partner in the program, with the intention of acquiring a variant now known as the IFX. The KF-21 was previously known as the KFX. Indonesia's commitment has been questioned for several years, as Jakarta has consistently fallen behind on development payments and sought to reduce its financial obligations. Additionally, Seoul counterintelligence officials are investigating the alleged theft of KF-21 data by Indonesian technicians working on the program in South Korea. The official said the plan still calls for the IFX to be produced in the 2025 to 2029 timeframe, and that there are plans for Indonesian aerospace to produce the KF-21 domestically. In early July, Kai began mass production of the KF-21, which is due to join the Republic of Korea Air Force in late 2026. We are preparing some agreements between the two governments and the two companies, the official said. However, he acknowledged that Indonesia has ordered 42 Dassault Aviation Rafales in a Memorandum of Understanding to buy up to 24 Boeing F-15X fighters. It won't be easy, the official said. Is there room to get new aircraft like the KF-21? But we are still trying. Korean Aerospace Industries, KAI, has confirmed that they received a request for information, RFI, from the Philippines regarding the KF-21 Borame fighter, and KAI will be responding soon. For those unfamiliar, an RFI is an official inquiry from the sender about a specific product. It may include questions about the aircraft's specifications and capabilities that aren't publicly available, development updates, pricing, delivery capabilities, and more. Queries might also cover topics not directly related to the aircraft, such as commitments from the South Korean government, financing options, or even counter-trade possibilities. This development could potentially delay the multi-role fighter MRF, acquisition in the Philippines, unless the Philippine Air Force PAF, considers the KF-21 as a viable option for a future twin-engine fighter. A Kai official stated, they issued an RFI on the KF-21, and we are preparing for it now. The Manila multi-role fighter MRF, competition has been ongoing for several years, with two competing aircraft, the Lockheed Martin F-16 and the Saab Gripen. The Philippines is already an important market for Kai, as they operate 12 F-A-50s and are looking to acquire 12 more. The official added that Kai has had very in-depth discussions about the KF-21 with a country in the Middle East. While he did not name the country, Kai has seen success in the region, with the Iraqi Air Force operating 24 T-50 IQ advanced trainers. He also mentioned another potential customer, Indonesia. Jakarta is a junior partner in the KF-21 program, intending to acquire a variant now known as the IFX, previously referred to as KFX. Indonesia's commitment has been questioned for several years, as Jakarta has consistently lagged behind in development payments and sought to reduce its financial obligations. Additionally, South Korean counterintelligence officials are investigating the alleged theft of KF-21 data by Indonesian technicians working on the program in South Korea. Despite these challenges, the plan still calls for IFX production to occur between 2025 and 2029, with plans for Indonesian aerospace to produce the KF-21 domestically. 
In early July, Kai began mass production of the KF-21, which is scheduled to join the Republic of Korea Air Force in late 2026. We are preparing some agreements between the two governments and the two companies, the official said. However, he acknowledged that Indonesia has ordered 42 Dassault Aviation Rafales and signed a memorandum of understanding to buy up to 24 Boeing F-15X fighters. It won't be easy, the official admitted. Is there room to get new aircraft like the KF-21? But we are still trying.